What's your stance on the fake FCPS Twitter accounts? So this, uh, we've actually had to deal with um, fake Twitter accounts f for several years now. Uh, we have a um, pretty good system. Um, our communications department kind of um, has a good relationship with Twitter because they have to contact them so often about the fake accounts. But usually we get them taken down um, within a few days. And um, I think it's, it's unfortunate that they, they give people wrong information. Uh, but there's not much we can do about that. What are some of the biggest challenges Fairfax County faces? Uh, well, we face quite a few different challenges. Uh, budget is certainly one of them. Um, and most of our challenges are actually related to budget. So um, again, attracting teachers to our county um, is, is a budget-related issue because of, of funding. Uh, bringing down our class sizes is a funding-related issue because in order to get more teachers, we need more funding. Uh, most of the, the other issues we face, I think, the school board does a good job responding to. Um, in the past few years, we've, we've um, had some issues with our discipline system. Um, you might have heard that there were some student suicides, and we have done um, a, lot, a big focus on mental health and things like that. Um, we've also dealt with start times. We know that that was a, a big decision. Um, that, that has confronted this community for maybe about four decades. So um, we're glad to have solved that partially, um, at least for high school students. Uh, so, you know, when things arise, the school board is usually pretty good at, at dealing with them. How do you feel about Fairfax County's decision to give schools only 3% more in this year's budget? So um, the budget is actually one thing we're, we're very focused on right now. Um, uh, as many of you have probably heard, we're looking at a, a deficit of about $70 million as of right now. Um, and uh, that's a result of a decline in state funding um, and our county board of supervisors not being able to make up the funding for us. Now, that might change a little in the coming weeks. We'll see. Um, but if we are left with um, a $70 million um, shortfall in our, our funding, that's going to mean, mean a lot of um, decreased funding for a lot of student activities. It'll mean increased student fees for things like um, testing and um, athletics and things that when you go to high school will be a bigger, um, bigger deal. Um, and also um, for things like uh, pupil placing. So if you go to one school um, when you're supposed to go to an, another school um, based on where you live, that'll be an additional fee. So. Um, I think all of us are very concerned about the underfunding of education um, and particularly what it means for the future of the county.